So here is a photo we took in Nairobi University during Nairobi Innovation Week, which was sponsored by Kenya National Innovation Agency. So we are invent invited to go alongside other innovators. Then one Friday in the morning, we are told to come early. Then we saw maybe security surrounding our stand. Then in a short while, we saw President walk straight to our stand. He really gave us a lot of time, about 20 minutes interacting with our product. And by the end of the day, he bought our product. That was something so amazing to us, so encouraging because there were so many innovations within Nairobi University. And when he chose our stand and buy our product, that was something so interesting to us. Now, this gave us a challenge. We say, if the president has gone with our products to State House, if we abandon it, we are going to disappoint so many people, including the president. So we came back, went to drawing board, and we say, this innovation is good. Let's keep on drawing with it. It's one of our best photos here in the workshop. It brings us some nice memory back there. My name is Richard Arwa. I'm the managing director of CIST East Africa Industry, and our brand product is Supermoto. Supermoto is an ethanol-based uh, renewable energy that is branded and packed as a household cooking fuel. Basically, we are addressing the energy poverty in low-income households. Uh, we know that quite a number of people, 400 million people in the whole world, still rely on biomass cooking, and this is very much dangerous for their health, apart from the adverse environmental effect that it causes. So basically, we are working on a transition to change this so that the low-income household can have access to clean cooking energy. We manufacture a 93% ethanol. We blend and stabilize it as an ethanol cooking fuel. We also market the ethanol cookstove. We market single burner ethanol cookstoves and double burner cookstoves. So basically we are promoting the three products. Our brand product is the Supermoto, which is an alcohol-based energy. We managed to conduct market acceptability social experiment using 100 households when we just first developed the product. And uh, unexpectedly, we realized that 85% of these households remained uh, reliable customers, after which we have received overwhelming demand from different suppliers and big industries that want our product. I can say that the consumers receive it so well and the product is really moving on well. By the time I was joining LEAF, we had just developed a prototype. We had not refined our prototype. And out of that, we managed to refine our prototype. We had not applied for some basic licenses like operating licenses. We had not registered our company officially. And uh, we had not even applied for NEMA. So we did environmental impact assessments. We got the report. And uh, besides that, we managed to buy some equipment, which are very key in our production. So I can say that the leaf grant uh, really, really challenged us. Out of that, we also went on our way and now do things that we could not do. We mobilize resources among the directors and we fill the gap so that everything could just move on. We are working on the SDG number seven, that is uh, access to clean energy for all. As we are all aware, the 400 million households in the world still rely on biomass cooking to cook their food. And most affected countries are the countries in Africa and maybe in Asia. Uh, this basically affects the women and children because women normally cook by children nearby. They stay in polluted kitchens and they are exposed to so many, so many diseases attributed to in-house air uh, pollution and all that. So we are making clean energy accessible. Basically, we are targeting the low-income uh, economy, that is the people staying in the rural areas, the people staying in the slums, and we've done some good projects in Kakuma refugee camp. And even now, our target, we are, resigning, we are signing another contract with SNV to supply our ethanol cooking technology to Kakuma refugee camp, a contract for four years. We are also signing another contract with the, the Practical Action to supply our products to Busia and Kakamega County. So I can say that our innovation is helping the low income a community, those who used to cook using firewood, those who used to cook using kerosene. We are now making it possible for them to change from this dirty cooking energy to more clean cooking ethanol energy.
So I think in that doing, we are also saving them a lot of money because if you buy our ethanol, you save around 20 shillings per liter. It is clean, it burns longer, and it is more modern. So I think we save the, this household some money. We save them time they spend for cooking, that time they go straight for where it is. Those time now they can use for more productive work. They can do business, they can do some work in the farm. And basically I can say that apart from SDG number seven, we also empower women because we know cooking is a basically women activity. Men do very little in terms of cooking. It is the women who feel this burden and therefore if we impact on them, they save a lot of time, they save in, in terms of money and health. Up to now, we have sold ethanol stoves to 540 customers and now these are people whom we have changed from using the dirty cooking energy into clean cooking energy. Mostly in ro low rural households, Kakuma refugee camp and also in the rural setup.